Hello everyone, I am Imran and you're watching my YouTube news channel. In this video starts by highlighting the breaking of a jinx associated with the number 13 and declaring July 13th as a victory day for XRP. The author mentions the response of the SEC to the Ripple ruling, stating that the core found Ripple violated securities laws in certain circumstances. The SEC refers to Judge Annalisa Torres' ruling and notes that further court proceedings would be held on the issue of Ripple's past XRP sales to institutional investors. The author mentions that David Schwartz, Ripple's chief technology officer, CTO, declared July 13th as a day of triumph on Twitter. The significance of this day is highlighted as the number 13 is traditionally associated with superstitions and considered a curse in some cultures. The XRP victory on this day is seen as a blow to the SAC's case and celebrated by the XRP community. Astral's, an entertainment label on the XRP ledger, recognizes the XRP community's commitment and resilience and sees the victory as just the beginning. Crypto Assets Guy, a prominent figure in the XRP community, voices his belief in the greatness of XRP, considering it the greatest digital asset ever created. These sentiments reflect the community's optimism and confidence in the future of XRP. The SEC's response to Judge Torres' ruling is discussed, stating that the SEC is pleased with the court's findings regarding Ripple's violation of securities laws. The court's agreement with the SEC's argument on the Howey test and rejection of Ripple's made-up test is mentioned. The SEC notes that the court dismissed Ripple's fair notice argument, clarifying that ignorance is not an excuse to violate securities law. It is unclear whether the SEC will appeal the ruling. The author highlights the victory of attorney John E. Deaton in his bet against Fox Business senior correspondent Charles Gasparino. Deaton had argued that XRP would come out victorious in the lawsuit, and Gasparino bet against it with the judge's decision leaning favorably towards Ripple and XRP. Deaton celebrates the ruling as a resounding victory. The paragraph also mentions the prevalence of fake XRP airdrops by scammers taking advantage of the recent good news. David Schwartz warns the XRP community about these scams and clarifies that there are no official airdrops, giveaways, or special offers associated with Ripple or the SEC lawsuit win. Community members confirm seeing these fake airdrop campaigns and urge others to report impersonating accounts. The author discusses the surge in XRP's price following the court ruling, triggering hopes of a more impressive run. XRP rallied by 98% within a few hours, demonstrating its potential to surge by unprecedented scales. The paragraph raises the question of whether XRP can make new millionaires if it reaches a price of $3.05. It explains that the answer depends on the initial investment amount, and an investor with a certain investment could have already witnessed appreciation in their investment amid the recent rally. Market watchers project bigger rallies in the future, with price targets set by a chartist at $3.05, $13.75. The paragraph provides calculations on how much an investor would need to invest at current prices to make $1 million if XRP reaches these targets. It emphasizes that the recent momentum demonstrated by XRP should not be taken as investment advice, as the price is subject to market conditions. In summary, the paragraph covers various aspects of XRP's victory against the SEC, the response from both sides, the victory of attorney John E. Deaton in his bet, the prevalence of fake XRP airdrops, the surge in XRP's price, and the potential for XRP to make millionaires. It also includes promotional elements for the YouTube channel and encourages viewer engagement. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more information about the XRP.